Okay, hello once again. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is some things that you can do with the HTC dialer and phone app. I've often been asked, how do I get the, the borders or the divider color between the, the pads? The, the call green color, how, how can we change that and so on? Well, this is all found, uh, inside the, the res app throughout the, the colors and values and so on. So the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to get into the values and in the colors XML. Now you notice with, uh, with the 10 Studio, all the colors are indicated on, on the side. This is a good tip and, and it's very useful because it can help you to narrow down some of the colors that you're trying to find. Uh, the, the names HTC provides are quite vague, to be honest. And it's gonna take a lot of trial and error. Most themers went through this already and it basically, if you wanna find what something does, just go ahead and make it a funny color like orange or, or red or pink and go from there. But, uh, I'm gonna try to help you a little bit. Now that, uh, that divider color you see in here, that is a, that, that, that is a XML color. And that's located down over in here. And that's called divider gray color. And basically, we could just highlight it. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and make a white. And the white code is, is FFF, FFF. And we go ahead and we close that. And we'll have to build it. And once you and once you build it, then then you push it. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and push it. Take a screenshot, and I'll show you. Okay, as you can see, we have now we have white uh, dividers separating the the keypads. Now what we have uh, down here. We got the, the green call button inside here. This green line. We can change that and we can change the call button as well. Okay, now we're back into the colors XML. And if you look down towards the bottom, you'll see divider call color and you'll see the button call fun color. We're going to change these ones to white as well. Now this one over here, it is a, an actual word. But what you can do is remove the entire code, type in F, first you need the number sign, FF is the code, and then the color. And you'll see that it changes over here, okay? So let's close that up, and we're going to build and push. Okay, now after pushing, we can see that the, the call button is turned white, and so has the call line indicator. Now, uh, myself, I, I really don't care for the, the size of these call indicator. It's a little too, too wide. We can actually reduce that, or we can remove it if, if you want. And let's go ahead and look at that. We're going to be looking into all the way down towards the bottom. Uh, values x, uh, x, x, h, d, p, i. And we have to go into the Demins XML. And we're going to be searching for a keyword, uh, struck. Now there are a couple. Uh, this one here is responsible, the, uh, divider struck width. That is, uh, responsible for the, uh, the thin, uh, divider lines you see here. Okay. And the other one, the uh, divider call stock width, that is responsible for the uh, the actual call button line that I just showed you. I'm going to reduce that to, oh, let's say three. That will bring it right down. Now, what you can do, and I'll show you this now in the same t tutorial, you can remove all these these border lines. And let's go ahead and do that too. So let's go back into 
Now we're going to reduce the divider stroke width to zero. Now we also need to, let's close and save it. We also need to do that as well in the dimins under values. And let's, one fast way of doing it, just try to find uh, the straw. And, it's right, and here it's one, but in the other file it was two. So bring that down to zero as well. Press OK, and I'm going to build and push. And I'm going to show you something different. Now, okay, um, after reducing the stroke to zero, we notice that all the lines are gone. The, the borders or the divider edges are all missing from the bottom, and they're all been removed inside the keypad as well. But if you want to go ahead and, and make a, uh, a, a divider on the keypad, you still can do that. And what we can do is, is actually theme the, uh, the, the uh, PNG that's responsible for these. And that's done inside the phone app. And we see the, the phone key background 9 P PNG. Now basically all, all I did was I first made a complete uh, fill, leaving a one pixel border. Any color you want, it depends on your, your divider. I used kind of like a, a silver, silver gray color. And then afterwards, you put a, a, a darker shade on top of that and leave one pixel border. And then you save that and, and, and then compile. Now what else you can do? is that you can actually remove the call and remove that that white line that we just made and that's done in in the edits so you go into the colors and these are the ones we did before we're going to make that 00, zero and then 000000, zero, 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 zero. And same with the, the call here. And we're going to save that. Build and push. Okay, so by adjusting that one ping and putting that border on, you can get your lines back. And just by playing around with those edits and doing one more, and that is in the colors. If you want to change the uh, the the button alphabet, you can change that as well. And just by playing around, you can come up with something like this. And that's basically some of the things you can do with the uh, HTC Dialer app. But remember, if you're going to theme the Dialer app, you need to do the same thing to the phone app. Because uh, as you make the call, the app is, is different. So if you want a matching set, make sure you do the phone app the same way as the Dialer app. The two apps are somewhat the same. There's a, a little bit of difference, but the, the colors are all the same, same as the, the uh, PNGs. Okay, have fun and good luck. And I'll be back later to show you something else.